Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. On this video, I'm going to have a little bit of mesh things together. We are here at the thrift stores. I really didn't record too much, but we are also going to be having a haul of the items I did find for the booth and some were for my home. I think only two of them were for my home. I haven't bought a lot of things for my home, so I thought I would treat myself this time. But I was looking for um, items to restock our booth, especially now that we're moving downstairs. So these items are the items that we found that day. The first item that I showed you guys was a metal pan that was hand painted. Also, I found this cute little frame, but I am going to be keeping this one for my home. I'm pretty sure that in the future, I will be taking it to the booth as well. Everything end up at the booth one day or another um, But yeah, I also found these cute little picture frames They came as a set But I am going to be pricing them individually I find that when I do that they sell better that way I price things as a set and it takes a little longer for them to sell. I Don't know. It just seems to work better for me that way um also found this cute little basket i was thinking of keeping it but i just thought i would use it as a display to display some flowers for april and some wooden spoons would be nice also found this cute little wooden hand painted rabbit that would go cute with the display for april and also i found this lamp Wisconsin, I believe um, with a new shade I was thinking of taking it to the booth but I think I already have enough of them to display some lighting so I think I'm gonna keep that one for my home um, I do need some lighting in my room so I'm gonna be taking that and seeing if that works I also found this cute little um, tree that I want to display for April not yet though i think i'm gonna keep it for a little while and then take it when it's closer i believe also i found these basket mat plate mats um i was thinking of looking for some domes and displaying for spring some you know flower pots in there or anything that would go cute in there some statues or something some little figurines I found this cute little sheep here that would also make a really nice um, decor piece for someone for the month of April and spring. I um, thought it was super cute. And I also found this little egg. Well, it's not that little. It's kind of big. Um, tin. I thought it was super cute because of April coming around. I think someone would have fun um, displaying it in a little basket for for Easter. I also found these cute little wooden um, hand-painted rabbits. And I also found this little dome as well. I'm looking for the base for that one. But this is basically everything I found that day and this wooden spoon um, Yeah, basically that's what I found. I did find other items that I forgot to record um, Sorry about that, but I'm sure you guys are gonna see them when we do a walkthrough in our booth once everything is set up So this is all that I found that day. I did find some other items that I forgot to record I did pick up some furniture an hour away from where we live. I didn't record that because that day was super ra rainy, like in the morning. But when we head out, it was fine. So we decided to go for these furniture pieces. And then when we went to the thrift store, it looked like it wanted to start to rain. So we had to head back home. We didn't want them to get wet. But a couple days later, we also purchased these uh, old windows from OfferUp um, and I decided to paint them a black matte. I wasn't sure yet where I was gonna put them 
in our new space but I wanted to have them ready so when we did have the opportunity to go in there and you know redo the space our new space um, this is the space that we got downstairs um, we were super excited that we were able to come downstairs it was a little bit harder to be upstairs with all the furniture that we had to carry up there so now we're super glad especially my boys are happy that they don't have to help us carry them upstairs but today here the boys are helping me um, make the walls for the new space so we could hang up some frames in the future I'm going to be doing more walls on the sides but for now in the short time that we had um, we just decided to do a back um, wall and we added to it so since the space was bigger than the one we had upstairs we had to add a little bit more wood to the backdrop but in the future I do plan on um, making some side walls so we could put some shelves and display a little bit more. I'm also thinking in the future of making a rack so I could um, also sell um, clothing. But for now, I just had, um, you know, the idea to do it this way because it was kind of a short notice um, for us to move downstairs and we didn't want to lose this space because it was in a great um, area and it was more accessible for our clients for them to find us as well I'm not saying it was bad upstairs but I'm saying it was more easier and more open um, in the upstairs we were kind of in a corner but we were glad that we did have that space as well when we did but we were super excited to get this new area so here I'm just moving things around placing things getting a feel for them since it's a new um, area I was getting um, I was putting all the white um, dishware on this hutch that we purchased as well a while back um, and I was putting like all the brass together things like could go nicely um, together some candle holders all together and yeah we were super excited and I will show you guys the finished product when I'm done with styling it so on this day we went early morning the music wasn't on yet as you guys could see it kind of scared me when they turned it on um, the only difference is on here in this booth the music is a little loud because I'm right under the speaker so we definitely have music um, in our booth I mean it goes everywhere in the store but upstairs it wasn't too loud but it's fine I mean I'm sure our clients are gonna enjoy it and as we do as well we get to hear music while we work um, but it just scared me when it turned on so yeah I'm almost done with the booth I will be showing you guys how it turned out so far So I just finished um, styling this display case. I think it looks pretty nice. I put in some of the more delicate items in there. Um, a little bit more pricey, but not too much. Some of them are not. I just thought they looked nice in there. I put a little bit of lighting to give it a soft feel inside this display case. I think it looks pretty nice so far. With the short amount of time that we had to um, install everything and display everything we thought it looked pretty good so far I do like moving things around often um, and resetting so hopefully you guys stay around for those videos by the time you guys see the new reset I'm going to be sharing a little bit of it in this video we're still not done still not satisfied with how it looks but so far I think it's pretty good um, I did move out those middle 
white tables and those two desks that you see here. Uh, we just used them because they were in our upstairs um, booth at the time that we moved everything. And we didn't want to bring new stuff in until we installed the walls and everything else. It would be too much and it would be in the way of the customers. So we didn't want to do that. We just wanted to set everything that we had already there and then bring in some new items and move out some things. We did bring in a couple of days. We brought this um, side chip paint rustic uh, little cabinet. I did install those little legs to it. We are going to be staining them in the future. We just didn't have time that day because we did go in a little bit later because we had some other things that we had to do before we took it. Um, but all in all, it looks pretty good. This is how it looks after installing everything around it. We still haven't installed the windows at this point that we painted a couple days ago. Um, like I said, we just wanted to get a feel of the booth before we did those big moves like furniture. So we're going to be doing the windows next. I do have an idea where I want to place them. I'm thinking of placing them on the sides of the booth, one on one side and the other. So by the time you guys see it here, I think we already installed them in the booth. So we are going to be moving, like I said, this uh, desk and we did bring those lamps in. We did style some of the Easter items like you guys can see here, the little um, egg tint um, rabbit egg and the wooden little rabbit just a little touch of easter not too much yet i still wasn't ready to put in some flowers in yet i kind of want to still display a little bit of darker colors right now but i know in the end of you know maybe in the, the middle of march i'm going to be installing a little bit of um bringing in a little bit of flowers and stuff for summer and spring and Easter so but for for right now I just thought it was pretty nice the way it was so I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys a little walkthrough So a couple of days later, we did go in and installed this rustic farm style table here in the middle of the booth. Um, we did take out the desk like I had recently shared with you guys that we wanted to do. Now that everything was already in place, so far we did remove some of those furniture pieces. Also the middle 
white tables like I mentioned and I did put in this entry table in the middle and then we put in this rustic um, farm style table so we could display some of our items also did bring in some new frames because one of the frames the bigger frame that we had in the middle sold so I did bring in some other ones um, I have to frequently take um, frames because they do either sell and we have to move things around which is great for us um, and also we did purchase um, this new um, vintage tree hall tree um, with this marble top I always forget what they're called but um, yeah we did purchase this on offer up and we went to pick it up but I am going to be changing out the knob on the drawer there I did bring in this frame and this chandelier I'm going to install it on the other side but I haven't done so yet because we are planning to bring in um, some walls for the well install some walls on the two sides of the booth because I do want to either place a rack like I was saying to put in some um, on this side right here where this hutch is um, to place some um, clothing and some shoes and hats but I'm not too sure yet I'm just sketching out um, how I want it to look and I have to see if it's even able to do that because it might take a little bit too much space but that's in the works right now um, also wanting to um, either put in some moldings on the two sides of the of those two new walls we want to build to give it more of a homey dimensional look more homey look um, more vintagey look as well um, yeah or either um, paint the two sides of the, the two walls that we want to also um, built in the space um, I also wanted either to do um, I, I missed what I was gonna say but I also wanted to either use wallpaper on the two walls that we want to add or either do two murals on either side or just on one side and paint one side I'm still going to talk to one of my family members that is a great artist to see if they have time to help me out with this project and if they're able to help me out we will see I do have a meeting with them this week so we will see how that turns out but we will see how everything um, turns out for us on the sketch to see if everything's gonna fit and everything's gonna look how I have it in my mind sometimes you have something in your mind but then it turns out to be something else but you end up liking it more if I could explain myself but yeah um, so far this is how it looks um, I do want to take off that little side um, a little side table up there on the rustic um, farm style table off because I feel like people are not able to really see the top of it it's really rustic and something unique I mean not everybody's gonna like it you know but some people really like that look like I do but I want to display it down there under like some shelves um, so it could have more of a you know better so people could look at it better but like I said this is what I have so far for me like the booth is always going to change it's always going to be different because I'm just that type of person like I like to move things around often I will leave it for a while but I do like um, giving the clients and myself a new look and fresh look so they don't get bored and so they don't see everything the same all the time I'm not saying that it's always gonna be that way like I'm going to be doing it off and off and off and, but I do like, you know, giving a different feel all the time, but the same kind of character. But yeah, so far I'm happy with it. 
um we're now entering the month of march so by the time you guys see this i did bring in some flowers and some new vases and new items to give it more of a spring feel you guys will see some here in this video i was thinking about doing another separate video for that but i mean it takes me so long to edit and sometimes i'm not able to do so so i just thought i would do it here so you guys could take a look and i could get up to date with you guys so hopefully you guys like how it looks so far so sorry guys i was gonna install the other part of this video where i bring in the flowers and everything else um i'm not gonna be able to do it on this video because it's a little too long so stay tuned for the next video i promise it will be right after this one so i could get up to date with you guys like i said if you haven't subscribed already hopefully you guys will like to subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next